Okay, students, again, okay, now let's continue. Let's say solve y prime into x squared plus xy equal to x squared plus y squared, where y of 1 is 0, when x is 1, y is 0. So initial condition is given. So a particular solution is again expected. So the solution goes like this. Look, students, y prime x squared plus xy equals x squared plus y squared can be written like this. You know that y prime is dy by dx, so dy over dx is, is written as you see. So take this one to the, to the right side, so over x squared plus xy can come. So when you, you multiply this by 1 over x squared, you see, multiple both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x squared. So you will obtain dy over dx to be 1 plus y over x the whole squared, 1 plus y over x. Because as you are dividing the whole by x squared, you see, this x squared by x squared is going to be 1. And this is going to be y squared over x squared. So y over x the whole squared can come. And here also, x squared by x squared is 1. And when you divide this by x square again you see one x cancels the other one and y over x is going to come so look this is a function of y over x as you see so it can be that given differential equation can be treated as what student homogeneous okay we can call it homogeneous differential equation so for this sort of differential equation i told you that there is its own specific what uh, technique in order to solve so uh, let you and have v to be y over x as i tried to let you see before so this is y is equal to vx so the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be this one y prime is v plus x dv by dx so in place of this one now look students one can use v plus x dv by dx and here in place of y over x you can use v here also v one plus v square over one plus v can come so look here it is in place of dy by dx, you see in place of dy over dx, I just have used v plus x dv by dx, here it is written. So here in place of y over x, v is used, so 1 plus v square over 1 plus v, as you see. So now, look, we can shift this v to the right, and then x dv by dx is going to be equivalent to, as you are moving v to the right, you see, 1 plus v square over 1 plus v minus v can come, guys. So this can be simplified to what this form, 1 minus v over 1 plus v. So, look, student, this is separable. You see, homogeneous differential equations are actually separable. They can be what? A separable differential equation, just applying this sort of procedure, okay? So, how can we separate this then? This can be separated as you see. Look, take dv2, you see, to the right side as over, and then try to take the reciprocal. You can come to this, dx over x equals to 1 plus v over 1 minus v dv. So applying direct integration both sides, you see, we can find, you see, the solution. But before that, we have to divide 1 plus v by 1 minus v because this is a rational expression, you see. So we need to divide this one by this because the degrees are identical, 1, 1. So as you are dividing 1 plus v by 1 minus v using long division technique, as you studied there in your high school, this is going to be, look how many times do you have this to be? A minus 1 times, you see, minus 1 times, because v divided by minus v is minus 1, minus 1, and the remainder of minus 2 is going to come. So take the remainder of minus 2 and the divides of 1 minus v as you see. Just apply long division technique, guys, to know how this can be changed to this. Now, direct integration can be applied for this. So as you are applying direct integration, this will be ln x, and the integral of minus uh, dv is minus v, as you see. And here you can take 2 as a common out, then minus 2 ln of 1 minus v can come. So a certain constant, as you see, is going to appear. So v here is acting as a catalyst. So in place of v, we are going to take y over x, as you see. You see? So this turns to be uh, ln absolute value of x minus y over x, because in place of v, I'm using y over x, here also y over x. And then this is going to be this one. What I did here is I just took this minus y over x to the left. It's going to be plus y over x. And here again, take this one to the left. It's going to be plus again. So we are having this expression as you see. So this by itself can be a general solution, students. But so long as you are given initial condition, we can have a particular solution here. So look, substituting this uh, given condition in place of x, substitute 1. And in place of y, take 0. So have x to be 1 and y here is, is 0. So this turns 0 as you see. And here put 0 there and 1 here. Lan 1 can come but we know lan 1 is 0. So the whole turns to be 0. So finally c is going to be what? 0 student. 
So the obtained value C can now be substituted here. So this is going to be ln x plus y over x minus 2 ln 1 minus y over x equals 0. So you can consider again this as what a particular solution. And if you want to modify again this in another, in another form, you can perform another way. Now proceeding to the next one, you see we have another question, question number 12. It says solve x dy is equal to y into 1 plus 1 over ln of y over x dx. So how are you going to solve this? So let's see that this is, you see, a, a homogeneous differential equation. Let me show you that. And in order to show that, in order to identify that, first you need to write this as dy over dx form. And to do that, bring this dx to the left and take this x to the right. And this is going to be dy over dx is equal to y over x into 1 plus 1 over ln of y over x. Look here, the right side is written as a function of y over x. If you observe all the variables, you see, they all are written in terms of y over x. Because of this, this is treated as what students, as a homogeneous differential equation. So if it is a homogeneous differential equation, please undergo the technique I is used to show you uh, earlier okay so have v to be y over x so y is v times x so when you derive this respect to x y prime can come dy by dx so applying product rule for this v plus x dv by dx can follow and from this look in place of dy over dx in place of this one take v plus x dv by dx look in place of this dy by dx that is y prime have this v plus x dv by dx here I wrote, and then y over x comes as it is being v, and then 1 plus, as you see, 1 over ln v. The main reason why we are changing y and x expression to v and x is, this is not separated, but as you are using, you see such kind of substitution for homogeneous differential equation, the non, the non separable one is automatically changed to separable form. That is the mystery behind why we are classifying differential equations, say homogeneous at the beginning. Okay, so once we have this, the next task is you see simplifying this v times one is v, so we can cancel v by v, and then x dv over dx is equal to what? Look, this v can come here, v over lambda v can go, can come. So this basically is a separable differential equation. So this is dx over x equals ln v over v dv. So we can, you see, have this sort of what? Uh, separation. Everything is written in terms of x to the left side and in terms of v to the right side. So applying direct integration, the integral of dx over x is equal to the integral of ln v over d, v dv. So what follows is, you see, the integral of dx over x is ln x. So for this we have a constant C, so as you are integrating ln v over d, v dv, you do have this result, students. Yeah. Basically this is done using integration by substitution, call m to be ln v, guys. So if m is ln v, the derivative of m with respect to v will be 1 over v dv, okay? So this is going to be now, ln v is m, and 1 over v dv is, you see, dm, so the integral of m dm can come. So this is going to be c plus ln x is equal to, the integral of m dm is m squared over 2, and m is already what ln v, so it is a squared, so as you see ln v is the whole squared over 2 can come. So finally, this is the same as 1 over 2 ln squared v, and which actually is 1 over 2 ln squared. Here in place of v, we were using y over x, because in assumption v is y over x, so you are having y over x here. So finally, what can uh, follow is this one, you see? 1 over 2 ln square y over x minus ln x. This positive ln x goes to the right and it's going to be what? Minus ln x is equal to what? A certain constant number c. So we can call this as a general solution. The reason behind this is because we are having here, students, look at a constant number. Having a constant number here enables us to have, you see, a general solution like this can we change this to a particular solution oh, yes we can guys just we need to have initial condition given over here if we are given a certain initial condition over here students we can directly substitute this initial condition in place of x and y in our general uh, see, equation and determine what c is going to be in such a way we can what find the particular solution what sort of solution is this? Look, student, this is uh, actually an implicit solution because we didn't separate, you see, we didn't separate y uh, uh, to one side and x to the other side, you see? And if we didn't write, we call such kind of, you see, such kind of solution, implicit solution. Can we do, can we separate? If we can separate students, if you are able to write y, 
in terms of x we can call that explicit solution so the idea here is the general solution can be obtained in, term, in terms of this approach so whenever you come across with you see homogeneous type of differential equation please try to uh, tackle the problem by introducing v to be y over x and y equals vx and y prime is equal to v plus x dv by dx so in place of you see dy by dx please try to use this expression and in place of y over x have v and try to simplify in such a way just the non homogeneous the non separated one automatically changes to separated form and then applying you see direct integration both sides you can find the solution in such a way